wake up to. I saved myself a trip down to Lamar's. I didn't realize there was a washout bay here. Right. Coming up on that traffic circle, I saw a building that looked like a washout. It was open. It was like, sweet. way of doing things I just sent them a message to see if they can tell me what load my trailer's on because the security gear doesn't know which is weird but you know who knows looks like these guys deal pretty much exclusively with Schuster so like there's a couple of other trailers here but most of them are Schuster so I mean I guess if I, they don't know I'll have to go to each trailer and look at the bills and figure out which load is mine. That's the only other option. I'd have known I was just going to be dropping this thing in here without anybody looking at it. I wouldn't have put that extra three gallons in it because it was basically full. But sometimes security guard, if it doesn't show full, they'll be like, "No, go fill it up." So I took the extra time to put an extra three gallons in that tank. Just a waste of time because there's no big look at it.
always get a little curious when somebody tells me a trailer number and then I see one that's similar but not exactly like it has all the right numbers but they're rearranged because more than once I've driven around in circles in a drop lot looking for a trailer number not with Schuster but with KB where I would uh, look for a trailer number I'd find one that was close but the last two numbers were rearranged and then I couldn't find my own trailer number so I had to go check and they're like oh yeah that's right it is on that one Rousy today. Like, I slept for a good 10 hours. I actually slept in a little bit, but I am just not feeling up to it today. <laughs> I gotta go at least 200 more miles today so I can get within one shot of Greenville. talking to the wife and I pulled in here and went and took a shower. I made myself a little bit. This boy here is shedding like mad. It's like he stopped shedding for like a month and then they come back. And I lost the de-shed brush somewhere. I looked all over this truck 15 times. I can't find it. Must have accidentally got thrown away or something. It's like a daily struggle to keep this truck not covered in fur. He's a shabby boy. You shed so much. Did you know you shed it? Could you stop shedding? Could you quit it and make your first day on for a while? That'd be nice. Don't get up chat. I am uh had a couple hours left. But I wanted to get a shower. A couple hours isn't gonna make any difference really. So I'm sit here until about midnight one. I'm only about seven hours away from the receiver. If they're anything like they used to be. I'm likely going to be there for a while, several hours anyway. We'll see.
accident, but it's not like a huge wreck. I don't know whether they were doing something with the crane. Maybe that load had shifted and they were worried about it falling off the trailer. I don't know. They had both lanes shut down for that. I'm the only driver in this lot the whole time I've been here that knows where a red line is. There's a red line right in front of my truck. It's a fire line. You're not supposed to park there.
truck had me going there for a minute. He pulled into this driveway. It's, I guess he was lost. He pulled in here and turned around and went back. But I was like, holy oh, crap, is the place I'm going to on fire right now? That would have been an experience for sure. So yeah, he turned around and went the other way. places like this they actually use the light system instead of just like not using it I got my bills signed everything handed to me when I checked in light turns green pull out seal it you're good to go that's how it should work in most places but it usually doesn't usually there's like five extra steps get locked in your own thoughts trying to figure out how you can say something. No. Or whether you should say something. I'm thinking it's time for a change man, with uh, my career. I used to, I mean I still do sometimes but used to really struggle with de with depression and you know I would always say I didn't know exactly what was causing it but that's not entirely true I don't think like I know and I have known for a long time that company driving is a dead end job. You you can't like earn enough driving for someone else to like ever even retire. That's why you see so many drivers out here in their 70s. I've met the oldest driver I've ever met was like 87. He just didn't have the money to retire. He had to go back to work. And I've seen the writing on the wall with company driving for a long time. Almost the whole time I've been driving. I've, I've known, I've understood that the rates that they pay us, it's not enough to really move very far in life. And what's always stopped me from making the leap is fear. Fear of failing, fear of making my kids grow up 
as poor as I did because I made a bad decision. Yeah, I think most of my depression through the last 10 years has been my, I guess you'd call it your, uh, your ambition. Yeah. Is my ambition screaming at me to do something else, to do something more? Even saying this, like I have my doubts that I'll even try. Having this conversation, I still don't know if I'm going to get the gumption to try it. I don't want to regret my life. I don't want to regret not trying. I'd rather regret trying and failing. Than doing nothing at all. I uh, recently someone paid me a compliment, and I immediately I didn't feel like I deserved the compliment. And the only thing I can think about of why why would I my body almost you know my my spirit almost rejected praise from someone it's like why is that why why did that make me uncomfortable and the only answer I can come up with is I don't feel like I deserve it because I know I'm not living up to my potential So yeah, I need to make a change sometime soon, like within the first quarter of next year, so by March, I got to give myself a little bit of time, but I've got to be nearly finished or in my own truck. By, by March if I set that you know a goal a time frame maybe I'll do something about it start making phone calls to dealerships or banks